What's up guys? So apologies in advance for my head wrap and stuff. I had just filmed this video and then more things came out. So your girl took the wig off. We just got braids going on. So I threw the head wrap on. We need to talk about this. Some of you guys may know, some of you guys may know, may not know about this situation. A lot of you guys have hit me up asking me my opinion on it, how I feel about it. Um, so I just wanted to talk about it. I was initially gonna make this like a rant video, but I feel like instead of me just on this internet ranting and raving, girl, why don't I actually do a deep dive and kind of explain to everybody all the things that I've seen that make me have this opinion on the matter, you know? And I also wanted to give you guys all of the things that I've seen and maybe even the opportunity to further inform me. You get what I'm saying? It's a mess. It's a mess. I am just going to start off by saying this. Before I eat, I know that there are gonna be some people that find this video that don't know who I am and they're just gonna see my name and run off assumptions of who I am and what I believe in and what I do. Point blank, I do not practice voodoo, okay? I personally do not practice, all right? My name is The Voodoo Child because I am in love with Jimi Hendrix, okay? He was the first black man I ever seen be a rock star. I love him to death. And obviously, Voodoo Child is my favorite song of his for personal reasons, all right? If anybody out there is Haitian, y'all know we don't usually get the best rings. I've been called banana boat rider, African booty scratcher, Ebola this, Ebola that, demon worshiper this, demon worshiper that. And honestly, that song just made me feel like proud of me. I don't know, and I know Jimmy ain't Haitian, but isn't it weird that a lot of Zoes fuck with Jimmy? Like, have y'all noticed? All I'm saying is I am not a practicing person. Um, I do come from Haitian descent. My father is Haitian. My mom is Puerto Rican. That's how I have my knowledge of what I'm about to speak to you guys about. But I just want to let you guys know that no, I am not practice. I don't do voodoo, okay? It should be obvious because the way that my name is spelled, the voodoo child, is not even cor like correct for the religious practice. If you are practicing voodoo, it is spelled V-O-D-O-U and sometimes they put an N at the end. It is not V-O-O-D-O-O, -O -O, okay? That's not it. So if you ever see somebody with voodoo, like V-O-O-D-O-O, -O -O, like they're most likely not practicing, all right? So I just wanted to set that straight because I don't want you guys to think that this is a video from a practicing person. I am gonna be showing some people's names and some certain um, Facebook groups and stuff like that in this video. So if you guys want any further information, you guys will see the names of actual practicing people that can help you um, answer any more questions that you may have, okay? I'm gonna be showing y'all tons of stuff. So I'm just gonna start this shit out. Y'all see the title? So just, we're gonna go through this together, all right? And I'm gonna give you guys some commentary in between okay so before we get into the situation i want to tell you guys of how this situation even came to be right now there is a huge 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 trend on tiktok of paganism wiccans witchcraft anything like that it's trending right now okay a lot of people are getting into it xyz that's awesome that's them that's what they want to do that is fine quiet as it's kept. Um, a lot of mainstream systematic religions do have tones of paganism in them, such as um, altars, eating, drinking blood, drinking the blood of whoever and whatever, and I'm not trying to be offensive towards any religion. If anything, when I say that religions are similar, it's more so like, what are we fighting for? Please do not get any disrespect for me saying this. And so I didn't I didn't really care. I'm like, okay, it's kind of weird that these people are fucking with shit. But then I started seeing things of people being like, oh, I have fairies trying to attack me. I got fairies um, giving, leaving me gifts and stuff like that. Blessed be, yo. So the fairies gave me this thing last night and uh, I put it on my altar. I just think it was so cute. Like the how sweet of them. You what? Yeah, and then I told them thank you. But you see, ever since then, they won't leave me alone. And they're telling me that if I don't put a certain fertilizer in my garden, they're gonna kidnap my children and kill my family. You must be new to this. Good evening and welcome to WITCH News. I'm a Netflix and chill. Our top story this evening is that of a novice witch who received a gift from the Fae and shortly after her son came up missing. Live from the field is Carrie Attune with more on the story. Carrie? Thanks, Annette. Anita Daychob is a novice witch who just a few days ago received a gift from the Fae only to have her son come up missing shortly after. Anita, can you tell me what happened? 
Tommy. Uh, yeah, I received a gift from the Fae and I was like, sweet, thanks. And they're like, we want you to do a bunch of stuff for us. And I was like, I don't want to do any of that. And now Tommy's missing. You look. Look, you want me to help? You want me to help you? I I'll, I'll help you. Now, I am not familiar with um, Wiccan or Wicca or anything like that, so I don't know what that means, but I was already seeing on TikTok people trying to do something just because they thought it was cool, and now they have this entity attached to them. Now they have something sucking their energy. And guys, I'm gonna just tell you right now, if you don't believe in spirituality, energy transference, or things like any type of spiritual thing, this video probably isn't gonna be for you. You're probably gonna think it's a bunch of malarkey, but please stick it out to the end because I am going to end this with some like you know nothing to do with spirit spirituality religion or whatever but just like a bare minimum fact people were already i was already seeing how people were fucking with shit fucking with old shit that they that they don't you get what i'm saying and then things were happening to them so that was already happening i was already seeing it okay but what i did not think anybody would do they did i always thought that all of the Wiccans were aware of Salem and Techiba, okay? Techiba did voodoo or hoodoo, okay? Depends on what um, story you read, all right? Now, hoodoo is different than voodoo. In my opinion, hoodoo is more so a medical um, type of thing, but they do praise the same Loa as Haitian voodoo. So I do want you guys to know, I'm not Creole. I don't know how Creole voodoo or hoodoo works. I've just come from Haitian descent and I can tell y'all how that works. I never thought that a white person would try this. And guys, this is not about racism, okay? It's about bloodlines and we're gonna get, and all of this stuff is public information, mind you. So please do not think that I am doxing anybody. All of this stuff is public information, okay? Everything I got is off the internet. So this is the girl. Now we don't know when yesterday was, we don't know when this screenshot was taken, but she said, I am opening myself to work more with the Lois more and more each day. I'm really drawn to Papa Legba lately since I keep hearing his name so much. Does anyone have any advice for a first timer like me? Thanks. Okay, so for one, if you guys don't know who Papa Legba is, for all of my um, westernized people, Papa Legba is that guy from American Horror Story that um, Marie Laveau summons to try that you get what I'm saying. Um, that's the westernized Papa Legba that you guys might know, okay? Again, can't speak for hoodoo, but in voodoo, voodoo is a religion, okay? It is African spiritualism mixed with Catholicism. Like voodoo, to my point of view of voodoo, that is a religion. Okay, that is a religion. So Loa is like our deities, all right? And I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing Loa incorrectly. Again, I don't practice. I just read up on a lot of this stuff. Like I don't, you get what I'm saying? I am not a priestess or anything like that, or even a priestess of training, nothing. I've never been initiated. So, and we're gonna talk about that initiation later too. That's who Papa Legba is. A lot of people saw American Horror Story and thought that Papa Legba was somebody you go to to ask for favors, okay? Papa Legba, from what I've read, and some of you guys that are more experienced are welcome to add more to the comments. From what I've read about Papa Legba growing up is that Papa Legba is a gatekeeper. He's more so like the gatekeeper of the crossroads. So he's not really like somebody you would want to be just talking to, girl. Like he's not somebody who you're just like, oh, let me hit up Papa Legba. Like that he's not, there are so many other Loa that like, it's like there's families. So it's like you kind of have to contact one in order to get to the other like it's a whole thing like it's a whole thing y'all that's all it's a whole thing so she had posted that but we don't know when yesterday was on the 24th of february she said i might do witchcraft on my girlfriend today laughing emojis fire sag sign is that okay and then here she has a poppet i don't know if you guys know what a poppet is y'all can go and look it up okay I've never done voodoo before, but when I was a child, I even have a video on it on my channel. I did go to New Orleans and I did buy like a little poppet, like a little voodoo doll, but I never did anything nasty to it. It was some very juvenile stuff. Like I'm pretty sure all my other Zoes can relate. When people find out you're Haitian, they think you just got that magic in your blood sometimes. And they'd be like, ooh, put something in their spaghetti. Ooh, do this, ooh, do that. And it's just like, girl, I am not all that time. Like, but I definitely did get one of these when I was a kid from New Orleans and 
all I did, it was like one of my classmates just wanted, had a crush on this boy, I wanted him to like her. And all I did was take like a piece of his hair and I put it into the thing and I just put a good pin in it. Like, I, I have never done anything evil like this. And I'm just looking at her, look at all of these pins she put. There's like pins in the chest, the at like the abdomen like for childbearing and shit like what is you got them in the face and these are all black pins none of these are white pins these are all black pins and even somebody was like girl no that is not okay like what are you doing right then she posted this on twitter i'm going through a breakup and i'm just trying to surround myself with love friends and support show me love what's your zodiac sign so this on march 22nd so remember on February 24th, she tried to do a hex on her girlfriend, right? Mind you, her girlfriend is black. Her girlfriend's black. And I'm telling y'all, this ain't no racist shit. Just wait, y'all need to wait. Please hold on. All of my white subscribers, please do not get in your feelings. Like, just chill. Cause y'all are gonna see what I'm talking about. I'm, this ain't no racist shit. Nobody is trying to be like, oh, you can't join my religion because I'm right. Like, no, just wait because i know y'all probably getting triggered but just wait in february she was still with her girlfriend and she did all this shit to her girlfriend then um the next month she's going through a breakup so now her and her girlfriend are broken up after this okay after she posted that a week later she posted this talking about let people hold on y'all gotta see this shit she said let people live and have their own religion if someone is into something different, accept that. Stop saying, no, you came from God. I'm Wiccan and I always will be, so shut up and let me be. So now this is where the confusion started happening because there are a lot of people online that are trying to say, this girl was a Wiccan, she was not trying to practice hoodoo or voodoo or voodoo or however you pronounce it um, in your beliefs. And a lot of people were referencing this post because she says I'm Wiccan. But if we go back here, not like she over here talking about i'm opening to work with the lowest and more um and then this is definitely her so i'm just like girl what are you talking like what she's just saying let people do their thing or whatever and now she is making another pop it and i even noticed like this pop it has like hair weave like next to it so i'm like is this for her girlfriend because she did just break up they did just break up not even a week ago and now you doing another pop it i don't know girl like that's what i'm saying like so this is just looking even more sketchy like so you're really trying to reach out to our ancestors to do something to this girl like you over here talking about you seeing all these low and you really you've been hearing papa legba lately you say you've been hearing papa legba since like fucking what February allegedly because there is no date on this right then this happened I'm gonna zoom in on this shit then this happened and look you can even see this is the same picture the same picture okay so this is the same picture if people still want to argue and say that you know she was wicked she was not doing all that look at this picture okay where she's talking about witchcraft right she's talking about witchcraft then look at this it's the same picture i seen papa legba today and i'm scared no sir girl who are you saying no sir to he don't got social media girl um so then this went viral she has passed away all right she passed away unexpectedly and a lot of people saw that unexpectedly and was like oh shit you know like this she, cause not even um, two days ago, cause she passed away on the 19th. And when did she say she saw Papa Legba? On the 17th. So a lot, and then you also need to realize the significance of nines. It's crossroads, great cemeteries. Like, so a lot of people were like shook. So apparently there is a Facebook community. There's tons of Facebook groups and stuff. I'm just not on Facebook, so I, I don't really know. But there is a, Facebook community called African American Hoodoo Voodoo and Universal Queens and Kings and they posted I just want to take a moment to say rest in peace I just did a reading on her oh and mind you these, this is the group that I was telling you about where there are actual you get what I'm saying I just did a reading on her and I asked Papa Legba was that him and he said no it was barren SMH y'all need to be careful with what y'all tap into and she just posted the Papa Legba post right so I'm gonna tell you guys who Baron is, westernized Baron. If you guys have ever seen Princess and the Frog, the villainous um, hoodoo voodoo king, that's who 
that character is based off of Baron, okay? Now, if you're not familiar with these stories and stuff, it's very similar to like Greek gods and Roman gods. Like there are families in Loa and like there are different groups and they do different things and blah, blah, blah. Now, I knew Baron because I did a lot of reading on Maman Brigitte when I was like 18 or 19. I was just looking up all um, women, Loa and stuff like that. And so I know that Maman Brigitte is like the wife kind of of Baron but Baron kind of he he snatches women also that's kind of like one of his things is that he snatches women he doesn't look very good he looks like a corpse he um wants he wants offerings such as like rum and tobacco stuff like that like very not Papa Legba Papa Legba is kind of like if you once you pass Papa Legba through the gates then whatever the fuck is like you get what I'm saying so they're saying that she saw Baron, which is not a good thing because Baron is known to take women as well as pretty much have wrath. Like he is like the god of like underworld, like death. Like that's the only way that I could really explain it to you guys, okay? So feel free to add more info in the comments as well. This was going crazy. It was going viral, it was going viral. It finally got onto Twitter and then that's how I saw it. People were tagging me in it in the forum. So it went viral. So on one of the Twitter posts that I saw, I did want to talk about this. All right, so this one Twitter user was basically saying, explaining what happened because a lot of shit got left out. So she was basically saying he, she hexed her girlfriend, didn't do proper research on the deity she summoned, tried calling Papa Legba, but got Baron Samidi and thought that was a good idea. As a white woman, after years of injustice, Haitians endured at white hands. This is why they say witchcraft becoming mainstream is dangerous. Now, again, I cannot speak on hoodoo because I do know that we, like hoodoo and voodoo, worship the same loa or um, call on the same deities for different things, right? So I'm not, I can't speak for Creole or New Orleans hoodoo or voodoo, but in Haitian voodoo, the history of the Haitian people, we are the first black people to fight against our masters and reclaim our property. You get what I'm saying? So why would you think like, I don't know, I don't know. She said, but God forbid someone warns white witches not to fuck with voodoo, hoodoo, African deities and practices or to stay true to their personal ancestry or lineage of magic. And boohoo, they're the bad guy. Mind boggling. Like literally, that's my thing too, because I've been seeing a lot of people like the TikTok witches and stuff like that who are basically like, I can practice whatever I want and these deities are calling on me. And it's like, girl, there is a bloodline. Like there is a, like for one, for one, let me break this down. Haitian voodoo. You cannot practice Haitian voodoo unless you are initiated in the country of Haiti, period, period. Look, that's just me. That's just me because like I see that shit. This is my culture, right? Like if you feel like you are an American Haitian or whatever and you feel like because that's in your blood that you could do it or whatever, all I'm saying to you is even if you are a full-blooded Haitian, not even like me, like if you are a full-blooded Haitian, I would highly advise you to still go and get properly initiated. This is not, this is a religion. Do you get what I'm saying? And it's not the same as Western religions where you can get um, baptized into a church or something like that. Like, you're not trying to be a church goer. You're trying to lead. Like, you get what I'm saying? You're trying to be the bridge between one realm and the other. You need to be initiated. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I don't know why it's cool to be a witch and I, I guess it's American Horror Story, girl. I don't know. But did y'all not watch American Horror Story? Do y'all not remember what happened when the Supreme Witch tried to hit up Papa Legba? Somebody was like, this Facebook group consists of mostly white women rejected my post, warning them that they can't jump into it. They locked my post for gatekeeping. And that's the thing, it's not about gatekeeping. It's like, dude, you can get hurt. Like if you genuinely believe you can get hurt, okay? I don't know why y'all think our ancestors are these progressive ass SJW beings, girl. Like these were black deities and seeing their people get enslaved and put down by a certain like, like, would it make any sense for you to pray towards a Native American deity? You get what I'm saying? Because it's the same thing. Y'all seen poltergeist and what do people still do? Y'all seen the real, what happened to the real life people that played in poltergeist? And what do y'all still do? Like, that's what I'm trying to say, bro. Like, it's not a racism thing. It's the same thing. Like, when we tell 
white people to not wear braids, box braids and shit, we're trying to tell you to help you. Your hair is going to fall out. It's going to pull your shit out from the edges. This is another way that we're trying to help you. We get that you want to be spiritual. We get that you want to feel a part of something. And I feel it. it's because a lot of white witches feel like they don't have an origin story because a lot of their origin story is Tichuba. And I feel like that's why they want to go this route. You get what I'm saying? So I just want to show you another thing that she, um, had posted so this is something that somebody had posted on her page where she had posted this a while ago but they posted this like once she already had passed away right so this guy says she committed suicide because of depression nothing else the only confusing evidence is the poppet she let on fire which a lot of wiccans do for rebirth the african community is gross for using this as a toxic lever to instill fear of voodoo she was not trying to summon legba sir i don't know if you and i'm so glad this person came talking about she literally was right and then showed this shit because i'm like what are you talking about so this is how she died in case y'all didn't know a lot of the story says it was a pool of water a bathtub a hot tub it all changes but the main thing that's consistent is that she had an anxiety attack she did not commit suicide she had an anxiety attack or a panic attack in a body of water that's what was said okay i don't know where this guy got the suicide thing from i did see that she was going through a breakup but hey he might know her in real life so that's why i just wanted to put this on here but i really think this was a stretch talking about the african community is gross for using this as a toxic lever to instill fear of voodoo the african community doesn't have to do shit to instill a fear of voodoo in people you know how many people come onto my channel and don't even watch a video and see that i have haitian in my description and then see what my name is fuck that they don't even look at my description they see what my name is and i get all of this you devil worshiper you're a demon blah 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 black people ain't doing that the facts are the history is y'all people tried to erase us practicing voodoo y'all people tried to erase it from us so then he responded to that talking about that's not even her in that picture talking about this picture okay now this is when my antennas went up because i did peek like this picture doesn't look like this girl for real like i can't really tell and or this girl like they're all different pictures it would be so much easier the only thing that i know for a fact is that these two are the same person because they both have the sagittarius you get what i'm saying but this one is a little bit uh you get what i'm saying but regardless if this one is uh this one is real and she you can see same picture same picture like i said earlier this is real so bro i don't know what you're talking about y'all please pray for this man because he's about to say some really dumb shit i'm just about to prepare you that's not even her even if it was which it fucking isn't there's nothing wrong with white women being attracted to loa for one regardless of who you are like nobody is attracted to loa like even practicing people practicing priestesses and priests in voodoo they have whole ceremonies to get a loa to and like literally loa take over your body like that's why i'm like there is no attraction like what are you talking about and then here is the kicker she had no ill intent yes she did she's multiple times she said she did spirit was only trying to comfort no she was purposely trying to summit like do y'all think that every law in haitian voodoo is just underworld shit and just demons like that's how y'all be making it seem like it's like a whole bunch of demons girl no there are very positive loa that you can call and there are loa for fertility there are loa for marriage like what are you talking she wasn't trying to contact no comforting loa no she was not what the fuck is that and then i love catherine catherine talking about all right then sir go do it yourself like since it's since it's so you get what i'm saying go do it yourself and he was like do what lady stop associating her puppetry with haitian voodoo she literally stated she was wiccan yes she stated she was wiccan and she was also trying to contact our loa and i am going to say our because that is our loa like that's like somebody trying to contact some a native american's ancestry like do you see how uh, that is like imagine if a native american ancestor saw a white girl walk up into their realm asking for shit just a met like even if y'all don't believe like just please imagine that like what 
She said every culture on this planet utilizes the use of puppets. There's nothing that suggests she was trying to summon a voodoo god except for her own words. And he said that's not even how it's done. And he's correct. That's not how it's done. This isn't the end of it, but I just want you guys to know that is the end of all the receipts that I have. I have not been able to find that girlfriend and I have not been able to find the ex. There are tons of stories circulating about the girlfriend slash ex but she has yet to speak. But what I want to say is I would like for you guys to not leave this girl any negative comments or her family any negative comments because I saw this today and this is disgusting. Somebody commented on her obituary and said this was the woman that was playing with African spiritualism. Y'all try and colonize everything and look and look at it because a Karen cost a Karen her life. Stop playing in black people shit signed Carol Baskin. That's not funny, bro. Like, that's not funny. Rule number one and why I believe this girl is unfortunately passed on, rule number one in almost every religion, like I said earlier, there's nothing for us to be fighting about because we're very similar. You do good onto others, good comes onto you. You wish bad onto others, bad comes onto you. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. That shit's gonna come back. So by you writing on a dead girl's post that you think got taken by bear, girl, stop. Just stop. Like, even doing that, that ain't nothing to play with, okay? So, as I was researching this, I actually came in contact with a thread. Shout out to this girl. Um, I've asked her permission if, we, if I could put her on here, so I don't know if her name's gonna be blurred or not because she hasn't responded, but shout out to her because she definitely triggered a memory in me all of my um 2010 to 2014 tumblr kids y'all know the drill um this thing happened before and like it reminded she just said this reminds me of that girl in louisiana that dug up those bones and nobody remembered and i was like i remember that shit i remember that shit and it was this girl this this girl right here i remember her because she made this post here i'm gonna show y'all the post i forgot all about this shit she made this post on her tumblr she said trigger warning graves bone hunting about 20 minutes from my house in New Orleans is what we call the poor man's graveyard. Most graveyards around here are full of above ground graves because we live in a fishbowl. But there happens to be a graveyard where it's all ground graves for those of us who are too poor to afford above burial. When it rains, of course, bones wash up. You can literally walk around and see femurs, teeth, and all that. This is where I go to find human bones for coursework and general spells that require bones. I find human bones are easier to work with for me rather than animal bones. So I can relate and work with the energy they carry, if that makes any sense. Anyways, I wanted to see if I, if I could start selling Basically cover shipping to wherever you happen to be if people would be interested. I know human bones aren't easy to come by and I usually have leftovers. What the fuck? I forgot about this bitch. So this bitch is in New Orleans. In New Orleans. Where the voodoo queen Marie Laveau is buried. Digging up bones? She's not digging them up exactly where Marie is buried. I'm just saying like you are in, <laughs> you are in hoodoo nation baby. Oh my God. And you digging up bones and usually when the graves are shallow that means that they are african-american bones girl like i don't know why you think that white people are getting shallow ass graves dug and it's because new orleans like new orleans is a very historical place those are most likely some bones you don't want to be fucking with okay and i remember when that happened it was this huge fiasco um the cops were called a lot of but before the cops were called a lot of people were getting on her and i just thought this was interesting to show what she said Somebody just commented and they were like, hey, fuck you, bone thief. And she said, I wouldn't be surprised if there were seven to ten rats living in that matted nest you call hair, right? So this person was actually a black person, okay? And I cannot find the screenshot, but somebody said something so true to her. And they were just like, bro, how dare you fucking talk about bitches having nappy ass hair and shit that are calling you a bone thief. Like, I don't know what's going on with y'all new feminists thinking y'all could just be witches and it's all cute and shit. And then y'all just forget where the fuck shit came from. Like, and then you do that. Like, what the fuck? But long story short, baby definitely got um, arrested. So basically, and then people turned it into a meme. I don't know why, the internet. So... She offered up human bones for sale, allegedly collecting them. What followed was a simultaneous amused and horrified discourse about witchcraft spells, class, and race. 
We now know what happened in the aftermath. The suspect of trafficking in human remains, Darling's home was subject to periodic surveillances over six days in January, according to the New Orleans Advocate. On January 28th, the home was raided by investigators who, according to court records, obtained the Advocate, recovered at least 11 bones and four teeth. So I've always wanted, if y'all got, it says that she moved to Florida because people kept harassing her. So I, I was going to do a deep dive and try to find her, but I'm not in the doxing business. And like, I was like, oh, this would be really cool. Cause I want to know what happened to her. Did she have any repercussions from doing this type of magic? Like what's going on? You get what I'm saying? But I did see that she moved um, to Florida for fear of being, you know, all these death threats and shit. And I'm not trying to add on to that, but I do just want to show how eerily similar, like, People thought it was a joke. Like, people thought it was a fucking joke. And this is just a mess. Now, my final verdict on this, I feel like if it's not true to you, then don't do it. Like, honestly, I feel like if it's not true to you, don't do it. And if people are warning you about not doing something that are proficient in something you want to be proficient in, listen. Like, they're not trying to gatekeep. We're not trying to gatekeep. Nobody's trying to do any of that. It's all about safety. Like, it's all about safety bro like you are putting yourself at risk there are people who are full-blooded haitian full blood creole people descendants from major priestesses priests and all that like, that just won't do it because they are aware of how serious it is the the human belief is a very serious force okay don't play with that don't don't play with that like you just don't like you just don't play with it how do you guys feel about this um I personally feel like witchcraft and all that stuff is not something to be played with, um, whether it's just to get a little clout on TikTok or so that you could, you know, try to find yourself or whatever. Like, I just don't think voodoo is the way for that, um, especially if you are not of Haitian Creole descent or just African descent. But I really feel like you need to be from Haitian Creole descent. That's just me. But Again, I'm not proficient, I don't practice, so I, that's just my opinion. But I would like to know you guys' opinion in the comments below. Regardless of if she was, what the fuck she was doing, I still want to give condolences to her family. I don't care, that's just me. I don't care, what she did was stupid, but at the end of the day, on the face front, she had a panic attack and died in the tub. So I, I will personally send my condolences to her family, like I, and her children, she has children. Like, that's why I'm like that Carol Baskin shit somebody put on her obituary, that's completely out of pocket. That's completely out of pocket and not okay. Like, you get what I'm saying? And there are some people like, oh my God, her kids are gonna see this one day. Yes, and her kids are also gonna see the shit that she did on the internet with all the voodoo and all that shit too. So it's like, come on now. Like, I just don't think that, that I think, I just think that that's out of pocket to do on the girl's page on the obituary like it's just not cool like if anything it's just confirming the stereotype they have of us anyway you get what i'm saying so let me know what y'all think in the comments below i might do a part two depending on new information comes out but this is just a whole ass mess like i was not i don't know i wasn't ready girl but let me know what you guys think about this and i will see you guys tomorrow